Let's find out together. Plate heat exchanger is the most commonly used wort chiller in breweries. It consists of a series of stacked metal sheets with grooves on both sides. The wort and cooling water alternately flow through these grooved plates to cool the wort. When using a plate heat exchanger for wort cooling, the following issues should be noted. First, the wort pipe of the plate heat exchanger must be sterilized before cooling the wort. Generally, hot water of 80 degrees Celsius or more is used to sterilize the wort pipe for at least 30 minutes. Secondly, during wort cooling, always check the temperature at the inlet and outlet. Adjust the flow rate through the valve and control the temperature at the wort outlet within the range of plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius as specified in the process. The wort cooling time should be controlled within 60 minutes. Too long cooling time will affect the utilization rate of the whirlpool ton and the quality of the wort. In addition, the plates of the plate heat exchanger should be disassembled and cleaned regularly. This is because the cold shrubs and hop resins in the wort will adhere to the plates, affecting the heat exchange efficiency. Another point to note is the pressure difference between the cooling water side and the wort side of the heat exchanger. Excessive pressure difference will deform the plates and reduce the sealing performance of the gaskets. If you want to learn more about beer brewing, be sure to follow us.